Hi everybody, it's Angela from Plants Du Beau and I'm coming to you from the Massachusetts Straw Garden. It's located northeast of Boston, about 30 miles in a cold zone six. And I just wanted to share a really cool new plant with you. This one's not quite out yet. It's available from Hoffy Nursery and Get Group and we're working with them to introduce it. But it is one of the most fabulous perennials I've been so excited to introduce in a long time. It's a pulmonaria and it is for dry shade. New pulmonaria, it's called Lisa Marie, and it's no relation to Elvis, but it is the person who found its wife. And next to that, this little tiny thing is Raspberry Splash. So you can see they come up a lot sooner than Raspberry Splash. They're already doubled in size, and these are just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and the leaves are going to be about a foot long by the time we're done with this, with these wonderful spots all over them. And the flowers are huge. I just saw a big, fat, giant bumblebee fitting inside of one of these guys. I have these all over my garden. This actually is a spot that's underneath some physocarpus. As you can see, it is still winter time here. We don't have any leaves on anything. We're gonna walk to the back part of the garden and I'm gonna show you another spot that they're in. And this is a spot that I thought was all shade, but it's, um, it's morning shade and it's, shade until about three o'clock in the afternoon and then then my friends it gets full blasting sun for a couple hours in the afternoon in the hot summer so these plants get completely tortured and they go flat to the ground every afternoon and then they come back so take a look at these so it's a really shady spot most of the day as you can see i have four of them planted da -da -da, with some very uh hungry pieris Need some fertilizer there. They're just beautiful. This is a huge, huge plant. I'll stick my hand in there for scale. You can see how big the leaves are on this pulmonaria. And the flowers are very big and they start out purple and turn red. This last spot we're gonna walk to is underneath a black walnut or several black walnuts and nothing will grow there. And these are growing tremendously well. So, I'm going to show you this spot next. You can see how fantastic they are. Well, there's the neighbor's house. There's one black walnut, two black walnuts. And that's Sergio, my rusty chicken. And then you can see the pulmonary Lisa Murray underneath. And they're with a Lacothway that's doing fairly well. But the pulmonary and the Brunneras, this is a silver heart, just starting to come up and flower. They are doing quite well underneath this black walnut. You can see they're the same size as all the other ones that were planted in much better spots. This one gets morning sun and is an afternoon shade. So very versatile plant. I love pulmonarias. I don't know why people don't sell more pulmonarias. Such a great ground cover perennial. This is the last clump I'm gonna show you. It's underneath my Cornell pink azalea that sadly still has the tags on it. Full bloom right now though. This is still under the black walnut, so you can see how lovely it's growing under a black walnut, even with all the allelopaths from the black walnut. So I just wanted to show you that. You should be able to get this wholesale 2021, retail 2022, so look for Lisa Marie coming to you sometime soon. It's such a fabulous plant. This is the same spot in the garden where we started, yet it's a picture from July of last year. You can see how the leaves have filled out and the plant has become this amazing hostile-like clump with dark green scratchy leaves with silver spots on it. I'm so excited about Pulmonaria Lisa Marie. I can't wait for you to be able to grow it.